Hello everybody, my name is Alan, I'm from Sauber Lab and today will be another video about Oracle Cloud plus Arclone. In this video we will show how you can install Arclone in the Oracle Cloud. The first question that a few people start to ask me, Alan, we can install AMB, Alan, you can install Plex, Alan, you can install Jellyfin in this Oracle Cloud. In this way we can start to show what some medias or can use this Oracle Cloud as a media stream for my own personal media that I have and then I say yes you can do it but have some limitation first of all Oracle Cloud has a free tier they only allowed you to have 200 gigabytes if you want to have a little bit more capacity you need to pay the extra and this extra is not so interesting compared if you have a hard drive and you have a server in your house so then it starts to be a little bit more expensive but if you use the free 200 gigabytes and imagine that you have two, three machines, four machines, each machine will use 50 gigabytes as a standard and in this way you're gonna run out of space really fast and you not have so much space for your media. And consider that you want to watch some 4K videos or at least 1080p and each 4K will be 25 gigabytes or a little bit more and each 1080p will be around 2-3 gigabytes of media, 5 gigabytes depending on what quality that you're using. So really fast you're gonna fill your capacity and that is not interesting for you because it will not work for your needs. So in this way, we can install the Arc clone that you can connect for your cloud, can be any kind of cloud that you want, as Google Cloud, Dropbox, Mega, and others that you can use. All the medias that you have outside, either using the Arc clone you can use through the FTP in your own Raspberry Pi with lots of hard drives and you want to do it, and you can have um, stream and transcoding up to 4K to 1080p, of course only one user but you can do this transcode and you don't need to have a computer always on in your house you can use it if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it we're gonna show in this video but first of all don't forget to leave your like subscribe for the channel and let's do it before we start to do any installation let's go to our system First of all, I just create an instance here. This instance is running Ubuntu server. It's a little bit different installation if you're using the Oracle Linux. Other thing that's interesting to remember that my free trial is top to work, but I still have all my instances that will be always free, so it's great for me. If I go a little bit down, I know that uh, I'm using the Ampere system with only one core. I have 6 GB of RAM and 1 GBps of internet network. This machine I just created so it will not have anything. To access this machine I will use this IP address plus the user. The way that I normally like to access it is through the PuTTY. So I will open my PuTTY and already have my user that I create at and the IP address exactly the same. Other thing that I did is in the SSH I already created my actor where it's my private key, the same way that I show you how you can create or generate your private key. Now we can connect it. As always, the first time that we connect to our machine, they will ask us to confirm that you, you feel safe to download this key. So we say yes, and now we connect to our machine. I will open here. If I look, the only capacity that I use is 3.4 GB, so it's totally empty, nothing else. First thing that we're gonna do is to update and upgrade our system. To do it, it's a simple step, you only put this one. sudo apt get update and we run it. They will take a little bit to do the download of all our list and that's in this way we can do the upgrade to have everything update for our system. Once that they say done, now we can do the upgrade. To do it, it's apt get upgrade and we run. In my case, it's only 144 kb, so it will be quite fast. And I put yes and wait a couple of minutes until they finish. Once that we finish to upgrade our system, we need to install the core first of all before we start to install our, our clone. This one, it's only to guarantee that we have all the application required to do this installation, so we're gonna run sudo apt install core. Good, we just finished to install it, we're gonna clear our page to be a little bit more tight and that we're gonna install our R clone. To do it, we're gonna install core 
hated ps two dots slash slash our clone install as h and we run it and it's complete okay now we can clear our page again and that's we're gonna tape our clone config our clone config one thing that's important you should look and to save this information it's a uh, notice your configuration file has been saved in home ubuntu dot config our clone our clone config so we're gonna copy this one and save it on the side because you're gonna need to use it after once that you save this one and keep save because otherwise you're not gonna remember it we can start to create our remote how we're gonna do this remote basically we're gonna connect our server to a, a cloud system you can have any cloud that you want in our case we're gonna do a google drive and after this one we're gonna encrypt this data or at least to keep my data encrypted that's uh, my cloud provider cannot see exactly what i have if you have some movies or anything they could complain for you and to avoid it it's easy only to encrypt so now we're gonna come here and put new and enter they ask you to define the name so we'll put uh, g drive can be any name but in the case i will use google drive so it's obvious or at least it's good to put g drive and put enter now they give a big list what kind of connection that you want to do in my case i want to do a connection for google drive and it will be drive and I put enter now they ask if you want to connect to your r2 key yes it's important to do it but in our case we're not gonna do it but if you want you can come here copy this link paste in your web browser and follow all the steps that it described there if you already have a google account you're gonna have a google console in this google console you can create this permission or at least this uh, client id and that you can paste here but in our case we're gonna put enter only to get the standard one and we're gonna put enter as well to have the standard one now we need to define what kind of connection that you want in this case you could put only to read but as well i want to make some backups of my library in my arclone in my drive so i will put as full number one after this one they ask you to define a root folder in this case we're gonna leave eight as a default and as a default as well and they ask you want to do any advanced configuration no we don't want so i will put no and end now come the time that you need to configure or at least add all the configuration to this R clone. remember we are using a virtual machine so we cannot put yes in any case we should not put it because it will not work so we need to put no and enter now they appear this code where i'm gonna copy it pass in a web browser and they will give me the authorization key where i will pass here so i will do it now once that i add my authorization key they will ask you if you want to define as a share drive or a single user in my case it's a single user so i will put no and enter now they ask you confirm that all this information is right yes i confirm it so i will put yes and enter now we're gonna clear our page only to be a little bit more tight we had our g drive great or at least the connection between them it's done we're gonna create a new remote so we'll put new enter the name of remote will be uh crypt g drive yes that is perfectly and we'll put enter they ask what kind of connection that you want to do in my case it will be crypt and i put enter so they ask what's the name of your remote as we already created as a g drive we'll put g drive two dots and i will put the name of my folder you could encrypt all your data in your g drive or your mega or your any cloud that you use yes you can do it but it's not good because it will be overload and that when you want to only use as a normal cloud you will have a problem so let's enter in our folder in my case i create as a name mb because in that time i was used more mb and that it became lazy to change i could make only media and that will be either better name but in this case i will leave this way and put enter so now they ask what kind of encryption that you want to define in my case i want the standard one so i'll put one and enter now they will ask if you want to encrypt your folder yes i want to encrypt in this way no one knows what is inside this folder so i'll put one again and put enter then they will ask you to use your password or at least create a password 
If you are doing this in the first time, I really strong suggest you to create a random pass, a really strong one, and keep it safe in another place. Keep it safe because if you lose this password, gone. No chance to recover. It will take uh, ages to recover. Basically impossible. So keep it safe and as well generate a hard password. But in my case, I already generated it, so I will put yes, and that I will add my password. Once that I finish to add my password, they will ask if I want to do any advanced configuration, so we'll put no and enter, and they ask us to confirm. Yes, seems all right. I think that is no issue at all, so I'll put yes and enter. Now I can come here and uh, quit this page and clear again. How we can check if our configuration work well? It's simple. We can put our clone, ls, and the name of configuration, in my case, was crypt crypt g drive and I put two dots after and I run it. Once that they run, they will show a list of all the application that I have. If I don't want to take too long, I will put control C and that it will stop. In your case, you can do it. If you don't have anything there, it will be empty, but at least it will show. And if you have one or two files, they will show as well. So I will put enter keep some seconds and I stop it because I don't want to take so much. So here I have all my backups and all the information that uh, I had. So it's fine. I can clear again this page. And now we need to start to do our configuration to make our mount. But you have two options or you can do only a mount. But this way, if you restart your computer, will stop this mount or you can make a systemd that all the time that you restart your computer will be start this service. So let's create this service. To do it, first we need to define where you're gonna do this mount. Otherwise, you don't know where you're gonna save it. So we need to create our folders where we're gonna do our cache as well where we're gonna save our cloud. So we're gonna come here and put sudo mkdir slash mnt slash cloud and put enter. Now we're gonna create our other folder where we'll keep our cache. To do it, it's really simple as well. So we're gonna run sudo mkdir slash mnt arclone cache gmid slash p and run it. So now we need to install Fuse because we're gonna run as a Fuse. So I'll put here Fuse and install it. Once that we finish to install Fuse, we need to enter as a root. Otherwise, once that you create your service, it will not allow you to connect it. So we're gonna put sudo, su and enter. Now we are as a root. We're gonna enter in the folder MMT, so we'll put cd slash MMT, and we are in this folder. Now we can create our service. To create our service, we're gonna do this follow step, nano gmedia service, and we create. Now we're gonna jump in the notepad++ where you're gonna modify our information before save here. I suggest only to modify because it's easy, you can select and delete what you need. If you try to modify here, you need to tape manually, so it will take a little bit longer. In our notepad, I already have this step that I already create. If you guys want to use the same, you're gonna find the description, so go there and you can access it. The description of this service will be gmedia mount service. What you're gonna wait? We're gonna wait that the network is connected. Otherwise, they will try to make the mount without have properly the R clone connect to the cloud and that they will not work at all. So let's put this one to wait. Now the service tape, we're gonna use our configuration that's exactly the same location that I told you to save. If you did exactly the same as me, we'll have exactly the same name, but you, if you didn't do, will have a little bit different name, but I believe that you follow me, so you save it. Other thing, we're gonna define the agent name. I could put a button, I could put any name, but I put as a Cyberlab only because it's Cyberlab channel, so it's fine. So I need to allow the others. In this way, others will have access for this mode, principally when you start to run with Plex, MB and others, to be able to access this file through the application. Other thing, we put as a timeout one hour, pull interval 50 seconds, and we're gonna put a cache for 1000 hours. And here will be the location of the cache. As I told you, it will be MMT, Arclone, Cache, and Gmedia. I could put any name, I could put Mega, but uh, Google Drive, Gmedia, and you understand it. Now, the tape of the cache that we're gonna use will be full. 
Remember, if you don't want cache, you can put no or you can put zero capacity and that's it, they will not create a cache. But I wanted to create a cache exactly because I wanted to create some download or some buffer for my information. I do believe the connection for our instance is good for what I need, but it's better to keep a little bit cache this way. They will not stay download all the time small files, only more big ones. Other thing we define as a 20 gigabytes and that we make the maximum agent for 12 hours. Now we're gonna define where we're gonna make the mount. The mount will be based for crypto G drive and the location will be MMT cloud. The same thing that I did here down. And now I have uh, configured all my service. This way I will copy this information, go back in my put and paste it. Because I already login as a sudo or as a root, so I will be able to put control X, yes and enter. If not, you should put sudo nano G drive service and this way it should work. But it's better only to connect as a root only to save it. Now what we need to do, we need to copy this specific service to our system D. To do it, we're gonna use this step, sudo cp for copy, G drive service and we save in this location and put enter. Now we finish to copy it, we need to enable our service. To enable our service will be sudo system tl enable g drive service and we run it they will take a little bit until they create the service once that is created will be done and that we can start our service to start our service we do the same step but start and we put enter alan how you know that the services work trust me it's working no no it's simple you can go and do the status to do it we're gonna do sudo system tl status G drive service and we put. Now they show running, so it's running, it's activate and everything is working and they will follow this step for all our tags. Have this one, now we finish configure our Arclone and this way you have access for all your media. So guys, I hope that you like this video. Remember, these steps will only work if you're using the Ubuntu version for your Oracle Cloud. If you're using the Oracle Linux, it will be a little bit different, but uh, we're gonna tell it in the pro next video, so don't worry about it. Other thing, now this step is simple, but it's really important for the next steps that we're gonna do. In the next ones, we're gonna install Plex, AMP, Jellyfin, not necessarily in this order, but we're gonna try to install these three applications. In this way, you can have all your media stream outside your house, in this Oracle Cloud, in this instance. Consider that you have four cores and 24 gigabytes of run uh, and a fast internet, so you're gonna be able to do some media stream quite well. If you want to transcode, I believe that uh, 4K for 1080p will work well, but if you start to have too much transcode, we'll start to bottleneck it because it will be only a CPU transcode, not a GPU. So not work the hardware acceleration, only the CPU acceleration. And if you want to make it for a lot of users, will not work this option. But if you use only for yourself, yes, it will work perfectly, no issue at all. If you like this video and think that it was interesting, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe for the channel, and see you next time. Bye.